Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series expansion for the given function in the range of 0, 2L and also we are going to deduce the sum of the given series. As a first part, we are going to write formula for the Fourier series expansion which is f of x is a0 by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l. Now a naught the formula is 1 by l integral 0 to 2 l f of x dx. We are going to substitute f of x, so 1 by l integral 0 to 2l, f of x is l minus x whole square then dx. Now this is 1 by l, integration of this is l minus x whole cube by 3 and there is a minus sign for x. So we have to divide by minus 1, so it is minus 3. Now we have a limit from 0 to 2L. This is 1 by L. Now when I put 2L here, it is L minus 2L whole cube by minus 3 minus of, when I put the lower limit 0, it is L minus 0. Separately this is whole cube by minus 3. Now we get 1 by L, L minus 2L is minus L, so minus L whole cube is minus L cube by minus 3 and we can cancel this and these two gets cancelled and it will become plus and plus L cube by 3. So totally this is 1 by L into 2 L cube by 3 and we can cancel so finally we get A naught as 2 L square by 3 so we got the first part that is A naught now coming to A n the formula is A n equal to 1 by pi sorry 1 by L integral 0 to 2 L f of x into cos n pi x by L dx. Now for f of x it is L minus x whole square so 1 by L integral 0 to 2 L L minus x whole square into cos n pi x by L dx. Now we are going to use Bernoulli's integral formula. Integral u v dx is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus dot dot dot. So here this term is u and this term is v. I am going to substitute here directly. So 1 by l bracket open u I have to write 1 minus x whole square as it is. v1 is integration of cos n pi x by l. Its integration is sin n pi x by l by n pi by l. We have to divide by the coefficient of x. Then minus u dash. u dash is derivative of u which is 2 into l minus x whole square into minus 1. So I can make this as plus. And v2 which is the integration of v1. This is v1. So this integration is minus cos n pi 
x by l by n pi by l whole square because already there is only n pi by l and again one more n pi by l will come so we put whole square then plus u double dash the derivative of and here there is no power minus 2 its derivative is 2 into l minus x then into minus 1 so it is better to keep the minus as it is because we need in formula there is a minus and there is a another minus here because when I take u double dash I have to consider this whole term so no need to change the sign the next time we can change the sign so l minus x whole square derivative is 2 into l minus x into minus 1 so it is minus 2 into l minus x okay now u double dash is this derivative this derivative is actually only 2 because this minus 2 is as it is and this is minus 1 so minus 2 into minus 1 is just 2 and this is v2 right so this integration will be minus sin n pi x by l by n pi by l whole cube then again u triple dash this derivative is 0 so no need to write the further terms and our, our limit is from 0 to 2l now when I substitute upper limit 2l this part in place of x I have to put 2l anyway I will substitute and show for better understanding so l minus 2l whole square sin n pi 2l by l by n pi by l now I can make this as plus 2 into l minus 2l but again there is a minus sign so minus cos n pi 2l by l by n pi by l whole square then again there is a minus 2 into sin n pi into 2l by l by n pi by l whole cube so I finish in substituting the upper limit when I put the lower limit when I put here 0 sin 0 is 0 so the first term and last term will not be there coming to the second term open bracket sec, first term is 0 because of the sign coming to the second term this is plus 2 into L minus 0 so plus 2 into L minus 0 is L and cos 0 is 1 and there is a minus sign so into minus 1 by n pi by l whole square so n pi by l whole square rest of the terms are 0 that is the last term is also 0 so we completely close the bracket now after cancelling this this is sign 2n pi so this is 0 and even this is also 0 so after that we are going to write only the non-zero terms so coming to this it is minus l so 2 into minus l and this is cos 2 pi which is 1 but there is a minus on outside so I can make this as plus by n pi by l whole square and this last term I will take minus inside this will become plus 2 l by n pi by l whole square and outside this is 1 by L not 1 by pi this is 1 by L now we find both the denominators are same so we are going to add the numerator so 4L by this I am going to write it as n square pi square by L square we can cancel this and this L square will come to the numerator so it is 4L square by n square pi square so we have 4 
L square by N square pi square. So I got the value of An which is 4 L square by N square pi square. So we keep it separately. Now we have to calculate Bn. The formula for Bn is 1 by L integral 0 to 2L f of x sin n pi x by l dx so this is 1 by l integral 0 to 2 l l minus x whole square sin n pi x by l dx again we are going to use Bernoulli's formula this is u and this is v integral u v dx is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus dot dot dot. So we are going to write the terms directly. So this is 1 by L open bracket. First is u v1. So u is this. v1 is this integration minus cos n pi x by L by n pi by L then minus u dash u dash is 2 into L minus x into minus 1 so we keep a minus here and this integration is minus sin n pi x by L by n pi by L whole square then plus u double dash u double dash is derivative of this term which is only minus 2 into minus 1 which is 2 an integration of v2 this term that will give us v3 so cos n pi x by l by n pi by l whole cube now we have 0 to 2L. Now substituting the limits, when I put the upper limit here, when I put 2L and here 2L. So L minus 2L is minus L whole square is L square. And here when I put 2L, LL gets cancelled, we get cos 2N pi and there is a minus sign so we left with only minus 1 by n pi by l this is a sign term so when I put 2l so this entire term becomes 0 so second term completely 0 so no need to write and the last term is 2 into this is this will become 1 because cos 2n sorry cos n pi into 2l by l so we get cos 2n pi that is 1 and again here n pi by l whole cube coming to the lower limit when I put 0 we get l square cos 0 is 1 so we get minus 1 by n pi by l sin 0 is 0 so no need to write and the last term is 2 into 1 by n pi by l whole cube so here we notice this term and minus of this term. When I take the minus inside, it will get cancelled. Similarly, when I take the minus inside, these two gets cancelled. So totally Bn is 0. So we got An and Bn and before that we got A0. Now substituting in the Fourier expansion formula, f of x is equal to A0 by 2. A0 is 2L square by 3. So when I divide by 2, we get only L cube, sorry, L square by 3 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity An which is 4L square by N square pi square. 4L square by N square pi square into cos N pi x by L. 
So in the starting, we have written the formula a n into cos n pi x by l. So we got this and b n is 0, so no need to write the last term. This is the required Fourier series expansion for the given function. As a second part, we are going to find the sum of this series. So for that, we are going to take x as 0. So when I want to find x as 0 for the function value, since it is an extreme point, I have to find f of 0 plus f of 2L whole divided by 2. This will be our f of 0, that is f of x at x equal to 0. And our function is L minus x whole square. So when I put 0, we get L square. When I put 2L for x, L minus 2L is minus L. When I put whole square, it becomes L square. So totally, this is 2L square by 2. After cancelling, we are getting the function value f of x at x equal to 0 is just L square. So I am going to use that value for this f of x. So L square equal to L square equal to other side we have L square by 3. So L square by 3 plus here all the constants can be taken outside 4 L square by pi square 4 L square by pi square and we have summation n is equal to 1 to infinity and this is cos n pi x by L by n square we are going to put n as sorry x as 0 so cos 0 is 1 so we left with only 1 by n square and we can take this term to the other side. So L square minus L square by 3 equal to 4 L square by pi square into summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square. So 2 L square by 3 equal to 4 L square by pi square and we have summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square and now this will be taken to the other side as the product of reciprocal so pi square by 4 l square summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square so l square l square we can cancel and this also we can cancel so pi square by 6 that is summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square gives pi square by 6. So in the question they were given two forms. One is sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square is pi square by 6. We got it. When I expand the series I get the other terms. That is when I expand the summation 1 by 1 square 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square dot 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 till infinity which is pi square by 6. So the second part of the question they told us to deduce the value of the given series and we got that as 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square is equal to pi square by 6 which is given here 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square. The value of the summation is sum of the series is pi square by 6.